Is your worship team still printing charts, texting PDFs, or using different versions of the same song on Sunday morning? Today I'm going to show you how to fix that for free using the Worship Tools Charts app. I'll walk you through exactly how it works and even show you how you can sync the Charts app with the Prime Multitrack app so you'll never get lost following the chart again. Okay, so let's get started. I have the Charts app running on my iPad and you can run the Charts app on any iPad, any iPhone, any Android phone, Android tablet, and you can download the Charts app for free from the Apple App Store or from the Google Play Store. You can also run the Charts app on any computer in your web browser. But let's get started on my iPad. When I first launch Charts, I'll see my upcoming services. I don't have any yet, so let's go ahead and create one. I'm gonna create a service for uh, next Sunday and press save. When my service first loads up, it won't have any songs in it yet. So let's go ahead and add some songs. Your Worship Tools song library syncs between all the Worship Tools apps. So your charts, planning, presenter, um, and you can also import songs from Song Select and Loop Community. I'm gonna go ahead and find a song from Loop Community. This will bring in not only the lyrics for use in the presenter app, but will bring in the chart as well. So I'm gonna choose Holy Forever. Okay, and there we see the, the chart has been loaded in and I can scroll through it left and right by swiping. Up at the top, we'll see some options that I have for how I want this chord chart to be displayed. I can view the chart in one column format, two column format, or just lyrics. I also have the ability to change the key of the song, and the chart will transpose right away. There, I just switched to the key of B, and if I change it to the key of D flat, we'll see that the chart updates instantly in the right key. In the top right corner, we'll see a little pencil icon there. If I touch that, I can get to this annotation mode. And this is great for making annotations or notes on the chord chart. So if I want to say, hey, we're going to skip this tag, I could cross it out. I also have the ability to highlight certain things if I want to make sure I don't miss it. Um, or just add some notes. So I could say uh, at the top here, I could put in put a note here to start big. In the source menu that you can get to by touching the title of the song at the top, you'll see some more formatting options in there. You'll have the ability to set a capo. And this allows you to change the key of the chart, but just for one individual band member, say they're playing guitar with the capo or they just wanna see the chart transposed. You also have the option to view the chart in the standard mode, but we also have the Nashville number system and some other options as well. And just like everything with Worship Tools, this all syncs to the cloud. So if I log in on a different iPad later, all my notes and annotations will be saved there as well. Okay, let's go ahead and add a few other songs to my service. This time I'm gonna choose a song from Song Select. And there we go. So now I have my two songs in my service here, Holy Forever, I can swipe through, and uh, Praise, I can swipe through as well. Everyone on your worship team will have the same service open, and if you add songs at any time, that everything will sync uh, to everyone in the worship band as well. If you change the keys, uh, change the order of songs, uh, those will all sync together. I can also add songs from Loop Community because I have the Charts and Lyrics subscription, which gives me access to charts from every song in the Charts and Lyrics library. So I'm gonna head and choose um, Our God Reigns here, and that'll be added to my service. This will also create the lyric slides that I'll need for putting up lyrics on my screen in the Presenter app as well. I can also add songs that are not in um, Song Select or Loop Community by choosing Create New. And in here I can type in the name of a song, say if this is a song I wrote or a song that's not in this library. I'm gonna call it uh, my song. And then I have the option to add a PDF or even Chord Pro uh, that'll be available for my whole team. And like everything with Worship Tools, all your changes sync with the cloud. So that means they're available in this Charts app, on my iPad, on all Charts apps, but also in the Planning app, another Worship Tools app. So I have this pulled up here. I'm gonna pull up my July 31st service and I'll see that the songs I've created on my iPad and the Charts app are showing here. I can adjust the order of them and also invite people to be a part of this service. When my worship team logs in to the planning app, they also have the Rehearse tab, which they'll be able to see the chord charts and see their annotations as well. You'll see that the annotations I made earlier on the iPad are now showing here in the planning app for me to rehearse with. And on the right side, you'll see a list of media associated with each song that you can listen to to rehearse. So here I have a YouTube video, a Spotify link, you can even add Apple Music or even your own MP3s as well. Also in Charts, you have the ability to share recordings of the songs with your worship team. And they can access that in the top right by just touching that music note. And there they can get links to Spotify recordings, Apple Music recordings, 
YouTube videos, or even just MP3s that you've uploaded to share. Next to that, you'll see the metronome. And touching that will play a metronome for the song that you currently have pulled up. And as you change the song, that metronome tempo will change as well. And the tempo can manually be changed by touching the name of the song at the top. And you'll see that at the bottom here. You can increase, decrease, and also reset it to the original tempo as well. Let's talk about how you can sync devices running charts even more. I'm gonna to go to the top menu and choose to connect to device. This will pull up a list of all devices that the Charts app can connect to. I can connect to the Prime app using Loop Connect. I can also connect to other devices running the Charts app. On my iPad here, I'm gonna check Make My Device Discoverable. And then I'm gonna go over to my laptop, which is running the Charts app in a web browser, and go to the same place, Connect to Device. Now in this list, I can connect to the Charts app running on my iPad. I can also connect to my other iPad that's running the Prime Multitrack app. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my Charts iPad here. It'll show with the green dot that I'm currently looking at Holy Forever on my iPad. And as I scroll through on my iPad, you'll see the pages change uh, on my laptop. So you could use this during your worship service to have everyone stay on the same page. So as the worship leader or a music director changes pages on their device, it'll change on everyone else's as well. So now on my iPad, I'm gonna to connect to a device running Loop Prime. And we're connected. And now as the track plays in the Prime app, I'll see that chord chart highlight in blue the section that's being played in Prime and follow along. All this happens in real time and any changes made on Prime will sync over. Whether that be a key change or a section jump or an arrangement modification, everything syncs over. Another hands-free way to control the Charts app is with the Looptimus Mini Plus. This is a Bluetooth foot controller that I've connected with my iPad. And as I press the buttons, you'll see the pages of my chart advance. This controller functions as a page turner and a MIDI controller, so you'll want to set it to the keyboard setting to use it with the Charts app. This is great if you're playing guitar and need to be hands-free to turn pages. And if you have other devices connected to this iPad being controlled, they'll all change at the same time with one push. The Worship Tools Charts app takes the guesswork out of rehearsal and makes leading worship smoother for everyone. Whether you're a solo worship leader or have a full band, sync charts means tighter transitions, better confidence, and less stress on Sunday. I'll put links below where you can download the Charts app for free for your device. If this helped you or your team, hit like and subscribe and let us know in the comments how you use the Charts app in your setup. <laughs> we went too long. Yeah. I'll walk you through exactly how it works and I'll even show you you can sync the Charts app with the... <laughs> <laughs> I saw it coming. I, it was fine until the one hit me on the head. <laughs> We always have our dumbest ideas on the last day of shoot. <laughs> 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 right away. Yeah, worship team. Oh, <laughs> oh, got him. <laughs> I'm just like bleeding in the video. <laughs>